Hello, I hope you're all well. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen the story I posted a few days ago um, saying that I was going to take a break because I wasn't happy with my art. It was only a few days that I actually took off in the end, um, but the reason I was unhappy with my art was because I was going through art block. (laughs) And so I thought, now that I'm kind of over it, I'd make a video on art block and how to get through it. (laughs) When I was younger, I guess I regarded art block solely as being when you don't really have any ideas, or any good ideas at least, and can't really draw because you don't actually really know what you want to achieve. (laughs) Um, And sometimes that is true, but not always. I saw a post on Twitter a while back, and I can't remember the exact wording, but basically it described art block as being when your skill doesn't match up to your expectation. And that's what happened to me recently. Uh, A little while ago, I finished a few pieces of art that I was really pleased with, and I thought, yay, I'm finally getting somewhere, like, I like the direction my art is going in, I got this. But then I had a few off days. Which, you know, happens. Um, Improvement fluctuates and sometimes you do have days where you don't really improve. Which is fine. (laughs) But because I'd been feeling so good and was expecting the next few drawings to come out well. um, It came as quite a big blow to me when my skill on those days wasn't good enough (laughs) um, to meet my own expectation. And it started to really get to me. (laughs) And then because I was getting frustrated, that was making things worse um, until literally nothing I was drawing looked right at all. And it wasn't at all that I didn't have any ideas. It was just my actual skill wasn't matching up to what I felt like I should be able to achieve. So I guess for the purpose of this video, that's more the kind of art block I'm talking about than just not having ideas but I'll try and cover both types of art block I guess I'm just saying that that's the type of art block I was going through recently so I did a quick google search before I started doing this video and if you google how to get over art block one of the first suggestions that comes up is to just put something on canvas um sometimes and for some people that might be the best way to get over it and I think that is more aimed at art block where you don't have any ideas because sometimes I guess just starting to draw might lead to an idea but if you've got this sort of art block that I had I don't know that that's gonna help really to just start drawing um it is something I've tried in the past uh and occasionally it helps I guess but personally I find that generally it just makes things worse (laughs) just sitting and trying to draw when you're not really feeling it you end up just getting more frustrated and then the drawings start to get even worse and then you feel more frustrated and it's just a vicious cycle so personally I'd say when art block hits just take a break (laughs) um Even if you've got a commission that you're working on and you have a deadline for, unless you really have no other option but to finish it, like you can't postpone it or anything, I really think taking a break is the best thing you can do, whether that be for a few hours or a couple of days. And personally, I find it helpful not only to take a break from actually drawing, but also take a break from social media which I know can be hard, Um, but constantly seeing other artists work and comparing them to your own often does make things worse, especially if you're not really feeling that your art's where you want it to be. Plus, with social media, there's obviously also the added pressure of feeling like you constantly need to produce new content in order to please the algorithm. To be honest, when I took my break from doing art the other day it wasn't actually so much taking a break from art it was more from being on social media um 
and almost as soon as I stopped looking at Twitter and Instagram, I actually did feel a bit better. It's like I had some breathing space to actually think more objectively about my art, I guess, because I wasn't constantly comparing it to other people's work, and I didn't feel stressed about having to produce something. So I really would recommend, if you have art block, do try and take a break from social media as much as you can, just to give yourself a bit of room to think and do other stuff and not compare yourself to other people and get back into the mindset of doing art because it's something you enjoy, not because you feel you have to keep producing it for the sake of Twitter or Instagram or whatever site you're using. Once you've had a bit of a break, however long you feel that needs to be, ease yourself back into drawing. Maybe don't jump straight back into doing something you have to draw, like a commission or ode work. Draw for yourself, and it doesn't necessarily have to be anything you're going to post. Just something for fun, so that you get back into enjoying it. Or you could use the time to practice things that were bothering you about your art. So I would recommend trying a few doodles or just fun pieces first to like get back into it. Obviously, if you're doing art for other people or if you're trying to like constantly produce art to post online, it can be hard to find time to just practice, which can contribute to feeling a bit stuck with your art. So while you're still like kind of on a break, using some of that time to practice a bit can be helpful. And you can obviously combine like doing fun personal art with practice. Like for example, the piece I'm drawing here is of my persona, but the main purpose of the drawing was for me to practice shading. So it was nice because I found it fun drawing my own character, but also felt like I was achieving something. Shading was probably the main thing contributing to me having art block in the first place, to be honest, um, as I wasn't really happy with it on the last few pieces that I did before I took a break. Uh, so once I'd taken like a day off from drawing anything at all, I made myself a little to-do list of things I wanted to achieve while I was on a break still, uh, of which doing some shading practice was the main thing. If to-do lists are something you find useful, while you're on a break, I would really recommend making one for yourself and for your art and giving yourself goals of things you want to achieve or improve on and the, m the more specific the better because um, just as not having any time to practice can contribute to art block I think trying to practice everything at once can lead you to feeling overwhelmed and like frustrated which obviously then leads back into art block <laughs> so trying to figure out the main things you want to improve on and be realistic in setting goals for improving is a good idea and I think when trying to prevent art block in the future setting aside a bit of time for like small practice sessions on specific things is going to be useful so that you feel like you are improving but you're not overwhelming yourself setting yourself goals that are unrelated to art can be helpful as well um, if you're taking a break from drawing or from social media, then you could try using some of the time that you'd usually be doing those things to complete other like small tasks, like tidying your bookshelf or something like that. Um, completing small tasks can make you feel good. or well, they make me feel good anyway. <laughs> I'm sure there's other people like that. And obviously, if you're feeling good in yourself, like that's a positive thing regardless, but it can also help you get over art block. Like, certainly if I'm feeling depressed or stressed or just, like, generally unmotivated in things that aren't even art-related, it does affect how I draw. So anything I can do to feel happier or more motivated in general is helpful for getting back into drawing and enjoying it, I find. And that said, though, if you do make a to-do list or, like, a schedule for yourself, make sure you factor in time for a break. Like, even if you're only drawing for yourself or doing tasks for yourself you should still take breaks and give yourself time to unwind 
And moving to art block caused by lack of ideas, if you are struggling to find inspiration, then taking breaks can be quite helpful for that. I think it's fair to say most of us will watch a movie or read or listen to music when we're taking a break, which can obviously be good for inspiration. But I would suggest try watching a movie you haven't seen or listening to music you might not usually listen to because you're more likely to find fresh inspiration that way rather than if you're just consuming content you've seen loads of times before that's probably not going to give you any new ideas. <laughs> I would also highly suggest going for a walk if you're able or just getting outside. Nature and to be honest even like towns and cities can be a good source of inspiration. Uh, obviously you do stay safe but being outside can help you relax as well which is good or at least like switch off your mind from worrying about art and let you think about other things so in general don't stress too much about finding inspiration or ideas personally i find the best ideas i have are usually not when i'm trying to force them but when i'm doing something else like going for a walk and i just see something that like jogs my brain into thinking of an idea so don't stress like let the ideas come to you I guess that's the main message of this video, to be honest. Like, don't stress. If you have art block, just breathe and take a step back. It's fine. Eventually, you will be able to draw again and you will have ideas. Like, if you feel yourself starting to get frustrated, just take a break and do something else. You will get through it, I promise. And on that note, I think that's the end of the video. Um, I guess I didn't have a whole lot to say, I just wanted to talk about it a bit because I know art block is tough and no matter how long you've been drawing or what your skill level it is still something you're probably gonna have to deal with it's normal so don't worry too much about it when it does hit uh, I hope some of what I said has been kind of useful or relatable or like I don't know <laughs> something to somebody um, and if you are going through art block right now yourself like, good luck. Hang in there. Like, I hope and I'm sure you will get through it soon. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Probably. <laughs> Bye.